Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's Nash and for today's video, to be honest, I just wanted to sit down at my vanity with you guys, do my makeup, do a lot of rambling, a little bit of a few updates, what's been going on these last few weeks and just show you guys what my current makeup routine is like. Let's get into it. Let me turn this on. I finally have, well, I now, I should say, have a vanity mirror that I basically got myself for my birthday and I'm obsessed. I converted my desk to a little get ready vanity section because I was honestly not using it for anything else. It was just storage. So first thing is first chapstick, but I kind of just want to revive my face. I will, if I forget to mention a product, I'll make sure I put it on the screen for you guys. Um, but I love rose water before, during, and after doing my makeup. Especially because I showered a little bit ago, but to just kind of rehydrate me like i need it i'm wearing my new robe my silk robe from ashley i know you're watching so hey girl i'm going with these elf drops it's a serum hyaluronic acid i just went with three drops so what's been going on let's get into the chit chat of this video i my birthday just passed I turned 25. I'm a whole quarter now. I was like, OMG, that's what I've been hearing from everybody. Like, oh my god, you're a quarter. Like, a quarter of my life is gone. <laughs> no, but I did just turn 25 on May 9th, and it was honestly a birthday week. Like, the festivities started on Sunday, and they were going all up until yesterday, which is nice. Um, I got to celebrate with friends, my coworkers, a few of my family members. It was just really nice. And my boyfriend, shout out to my man. Like, I will forever be a my man, my man, because my man just does that. Like, I was surprised on my actual birthday being able to spend the day with him after thinking he was gonna be at work all day, which your girl was just a freaking ball of happiness and tears, happy tears, and it was just such a nice, loving, happy birthday. And I also got to hang out with my friends on Sunday and we took a trip to Rhode Island, which was about an hour and 40 minutes from here. And we went to R1 Indoor Karting if you're near that area it's such a cool spot where you can do this thing called time zone and it's a bunch of rooms that you get to basically like challenges on how to get out or like figure out how to solve the puzzle or like physically like do things like it's really cool we did an hour to be honest we could have done more because we were getting caught up in some rooms trying to like beat our time we did that we ate we did scooters um, in downtown Providence. Angelica, if you're watching, I'm so sorry. Homegirl was only on the scooter for like less than a minute and her poor elbow got a nice taste of the floor. We felt so bad. Like we ended up just doing a few loops so that we can give her a chance to handle that situation. But the scooters were fun. I left with like Oh, like gotta to do it but i found out that they actually have some here in downtown so low-key i want to try to do that because it was a lot of fun um and then we went to david busters and just played a bunch of games it was such a fun day like even though we're technically celebrating me in general it was just nice to be around my people again because i was away in mexico and that's a whole nother story that i'm about to get into so I, if you guys haven't seen um, the video before this, I went to Mexico, so I posted a vlog of my week and both times I went with my team that I work with and 
it was great like we had such a good time it was from sunday to friday and the weather was amazing what didn't we do we had we stayed at a like airbnb condo and the girls basically had a condo to themselves and we got to hang out by the pool and tan we my man is home we hung out by the pool we tanned we had a yacht day we got to spend a few hours on a yacht and had food and um snorkeling swimming and we went to see Cirque du Soleil as they say it it was an amazing show what else we went to Tulum to see the Mayan ruins and we did a lot of just like relaxing and enjoying like the space that we were staying in the weather I'm telling you again was amazing I got so burnt like I ended up I'm still dealing with the peeling aftermath um, after that first day like the sun I wanted to get sun kissed just from the first day I was already so burnt but it was such a good trip like that ignited my craving to travel especially like with Michael and, and my friends I'm gonna go in with my Morphe this is a tinted moisturizer but it's in a lot shades too dark for me and I've been using it as a, what you call it, liquid bronzer. My apartment is covered in flowers from everyone that's gifted me for my birthday and I'm obsessed. I also got gifted, so when I, the day that I got back, I saw my man the day after. He surprised me with like a pre-birthday gift and he got me an orchid, which I'm so happy about, even though it's like one of like the hardest plants to keep alive. I'm up for the challenge because I've been, you know, expanding my plant, mom plant responsibilities. So this is looking uh, very dark. Like I feel like I put too much. And then my sister um, came to my job yesterday and she also got me an orchid. So now I not only have to take care of one, but I'm responsible for two. I also realized I haven't named them. I've kept up with this theme this theme of naming all my plants with a R. But I don't know if I wanna do the same with my orchids or give them a different category because technically they are flowers. So no suggestion. I went in with my ColourPop blush stick. Um, I have no idea what color it is because it's faded. But it's a really pretty, like, shade. The mirror that I got, I actually found it at TJ Maxx. So the day before my birthday, when I got back from Mexico, I ended up taking a long weekend since I get my birthday off at my job. I was like, let me just make it a long weekend and take the day before off as well so I don't have to like rush back to work which is honestly was the best decision I ever did and with that I gave myself the day to basically unpack do a quick little apartment reset kind of thing and I told myself I'm very much a reward kind of gal so if I do something I'll reward myself with something as like a motivator to get it done and considering my apartment was a disaster because I went away for camp with my youth at church and then the weekend after I left for Mexico there was a lot going on here so I was like okay do this and then you can do that so I did this and then I went to TJ Maxx and that was my gift to myself a little shopping spree 
and I actually found, I've seen this mirror before when I was shopping for the vacation, but I was not about to buy it because I'm like, yeah, not the right time. Mm, yeah, it's just not happening. So I told myself as I was driving over there, if you see it, you can get it. So I saw it and I got it and it was $50 and it's honestly like it's an impressions vanity mirror so as you know these mirrors will be they good they some good mirrors but I, it's basically like a mini like vanity mirror so happy that I got it so it's nice to like now have an area where I can get ready because before I had my makeup in this desk but I would never sit here I would just end up taking it to the bathroom because that's the best lighting because even with all the lights on even though it's bright in here, it's not bright enough for makeup. And if you do makeup, you know exactly what I mean. One thing that I have been thinking a lot about, and if you've tried to get on the business page, you'll probably already see. I don't really know what direction I'm taking Nash's wallet, the shop. So, I kind of have closed it temporarily while I figure out like what my next move is like I feel like turning 25 like I'm into my next chapter and I'm trying to figure out what that means in the aspect of change in my life and while I figure that out I definitely want to redirect the business and redirect like the kind of content that I'm sharing and what I want to share and what I want Nash's wallet to be because I feel like this past year I and I started tiptoeing in the content that I wanted to share and then I kind of just fell off when life would get a little bit overwhelming so I want to kind of build my platform some bronzer here this is makeup revolution bronzer it's so warm but i love it this is just like a big morphe brush i already have plenty of bronzer on but i like to look sun kissed at all times and i just drag whatever's left around my jaw down my neck here. I did do my eyebrows off camera. I did go a little bit ham with filling them in. Um, but I was letting the camera cool down because I be talking too much. So um, she started overheating. This one and a little bit of this. I want my brush to look like I just got embarrassed. What I'm gonna do now is respray before I put highlight on. We do a nice, generous amount. I actually should have cut this out. I'm gonna actually go in with like the OG. This is my glow kit. I've been using like my everyday glow, but I think I want to be glowing okay, I'll be back with the final look because my camera is overheating again voila we are all done and ready for the night I tried out this hairstyle I have no idea how it looks like from the back, but from the side, it looks cool. It's like 
My bottom half is in a braid and then my top half is braided into a bun. But here's my makeup. Let's get a close up of the skin. Here is how my makeup turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you would like to see a little bit more Get Ready With Me. It gives me a chance to kind of just chit chat and ramble and do little updates for those of you that care. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. Thank you guys so much for still being on this journey. And if you're new, subscribe before you go join the Nash fam. See you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Thanks.